Yeah, g'day guys. My name's Brett McCaskill. I'm the head judge at the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club. Love the families, love the camaraderie, the social sides of things. Just the mateship that we've formed. Uh, yeah, just a real love the healthy environment within the club. All right, my number one main character would have to be young man by the name of Thomas Harvey. Just an absolute crack up. The guy kept us in stitches all day, pulling the, all the little like jackass stunts and things like that back in. Yeah, just 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 a crazy dude that would um, just totally shred, shed some new light and laughter into your day. Great kid. Yeah, no, I can't really. Um, it's it's over the course of my time at the club, which has been a roughly around 16, 17 years, I've judged and been a part of so many heats. And, yeah, there's not one real particular one that stands out the most. Um, yeah. Okay. I would rather see... A big manoeuvre on a big wave, not actually a less manoeuvre on a big wave. Uh, you know, ever, the judges would love to throw down tens if they can. So to blow our minds with huge backflips, big barrels, flips, you know, just just some fluid things like that. Yeah. Now. I've actually had a rethink of this one, so I'll change it up. Probably my most memorable album that's been with me my whole life would have to be Radio Birdman, Radio Appears. If I had a second, a I'm a heavy metal fan to the core, so it would be Slayer, probably Repentless. I think juniors, um, they really need to be a part of the judging system. It's a, great, it's a great way to learn strategy uh, when you're competing in your heats. By knowing what the judges score and knowing what you, what you are then required when you're out in your heat to get the score, um, that, that's, that's a pivotal, pivotal tool to have in your strategy kit. I think the club's in great hands right now. With the future pros, contests that uh, the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club hosts every year, bringing lots of juniors and up-and-comers through from all around Australia. I think the, the club's got a bright future. Definitely, definitely growing. Uh, we've got some really good people here to nurture it for years to come. I like to spend a fair bit of time with my family. Um, you know, just just kicking back really. Um, I, I spend a lot of time working and, and my other passion is obviously bodyboarding. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much. I'm a simple guy. I'd like to see it go bigger, more, a lot more uh, destinations. Um, be great to see a lot more Aussie guys on the tour again. Obviously, a few of the guys these days are like the Aussie guys. They're got their families and whatever else so you know we've all kind of grown a bit further but there is a lot of young guys so getting the industry guys behind them I guess and and getting them into those international contests would be fantastic unfortunately I don't feel that bodyboarding will ever get to, to hold a contest at Snapper Rocks the Gold Coast is a very very surf surfing destination um yeah unfortunately the gold coast council and and the likes uh there they they would rather see the stand up because it draws the crowds a lot more than than bodyboarding unfortunately okay past members would i would dare say number one the ultimate weapon here on the gold coast is matt lackey number two would have to be, we've actually had um, some big big name guys in our club over the years, would be Dave Winchester. Number three would be Shane Griffith, just a, such a natural flow. And number four would be Dane Pope. 
I've got a few shout outs. I'd just like to thank a few different a few different families and different people for my for my time here in the club. I'd like to thank my family, my own family first, the McCaskill family, for introducing my boys um, were competitors here in the club in the first place. I'm one of those dads that get involved in everything my kids get into and they brought me here. So thanks boys for um, getting me here. I'd like to thank the Warloo family for getting me, um, you know, for teaching me everything in the first place and introducing me to how Bodyboard Club runs and and getting me involved, especially, you know, they were the first ones that got me to actually don a rashi myself and paddle out in the water. I'd like to say special thanks to Mick and Karina Parkhill from BSC um, back in the day. Mick taught me a hell of a lot about bodyboarding, about the, the behind the scenes things. Um, I'd also like to thank Benny Oborn, uh, another great, a great mind in our in our sport. Uh, there's been also many many families that have come through here. I'd especially like to thank Salas, our current Gold Coast Bodyboard Club president. He's taken our club to a, another level with the professionalism and the way he does things here. So yeah, they're probably oh, and also all the many sponsors that we've had over the years that have just kept our club growing and growing. So. Yeah, thank you guys.